my sexy compadres y mamacitas. My name is Peter Ambibidos to my kitchen where I'll teach you how to cook for charity. It's November, it's getting a little bit cold outside and I want to make something that'll keep us nice and warm, but what can we make? And I still want to use some pumpkin since I have some left over from the last recipe we did. Well, I already made the pumpkin soup from Skyward Sword, so that leaves us one soup recipe that I always wanted to try, but it's got two things I'm particularly not a fan of. And that's fish and Twilight Princess. Now put the pitchforks down, I know, it's blasphemy, I insult the Twilight Princess. It's not a bad game, it's just not particularly one of my favorite Zelda games. But back to cooking. Now, I'm not just making some normal soup, I'm making Yeto Superb Soup. It's got goat cheese in it, it's got pumpkin in it, and it's got reekfish. But reekfish doesn't really exist, so we're gonna use salmon. So hopefully if we combine those three things, we can make some flavorful soup that even a person who does not like fish can pretty much enjoy it. So without further ado guys, let's get cooking. Now before we go over all the ingredients, let's see some of the base ones Jeddo uses. Alright, on this table we got a potato, an onion, a carrot, the reek fish that's chopped up, so our salmon. There's a pitcher, so probably some heavy cream. I think there's some more ingredients over here. Alright, some more barrels. We got onions, potato, carrots, and uh, oh garlic, perfect. So we know the base ingredients we have. Let's add a few more and we can make this soup really, really tasty. So, here are the ingredients you're going to be needing. You need two pounds of seeded and peeled pumpkin. You can use canned pumpkin if it's out of season. Four cloves of garlic, a half a cup of white onions chopped, one cup of carrot cut into chunks, two potatoes cut into chunks, one cup of celery cut into chunks, four cups of fish stock. Now, if you're not a fan of fish stock and you're kind of worried, you can use chicken or vegetable stock. However, Yeto has the fish head sticking out of the soup, kind of making a stock, so that's why we're going with fish stock. Eight ounces of goat cheese, one and a half cups of heavy cream, salt and pepper to taste, and one salmon filet. First, we're going to peel our pumpkin, and the easiest way to do it is bake it. So you're going to cut your pumpkin into thirds with an ice cream scooper, de-seed it, and take off the stem. Then you're going to bake it at 350 for 15 minutes. While it's baking, you can start chopping up your onions, crushing, and mincing your garlic. 15 minutes later, your pumpkin should be ready. You could start peeling it with your fingers or a knife, and then cut your pumpkin into chunks. In your pot, add some olive oil on medium-high heat, and once it's ready, you're going to add in your garlic and your onions, and you're going to cook them until they brown a little bit. Once they start to brown, you're going to add in your pumpkin and stir it and cook it for about two more minutes. After this, you're going to add your fish stock and then you're going to give it a quick stir. Then you're going to cover it and simmer it for 45 minutes. About 25 minutes into the simmer, you want to give it a quick stir. 45 minutes later, take off your soup from the heat and then get your food processor or blender ready. Add it to it and then you're going to puree it a little bit. Then you're going to add in your heavy cream and your goat cheese and you're going to puree it one more time until everything is well incorporated. After this, you're going to peel your potatoes and cut them into chunks, and then you're going to do the same thing with your carrots and celery. Add a little bit of olive oil to your pot along with your garlic until it browns, and then add in the rest of your vegetables and saute it for around 3 minutes. After this, you want to add in your puree to your pot and give it a quick stir, and then cook it on low, covered for about 5-10 to 10 minutes. Next, let's work on our salmon. You're going to hold it like I'm doing, and then you're going to cut into your salmon about a quarter of an inch. You want each cut to be a few centimeters apart. This is going to help your salmon not curl up while you cook it. And each of the cuts, you're going to add in your salt. Now, a lot of people are afraid to cook salmon, but it's one of the easiest fish to cook. You're going to lay it down skin side first, and you're going to leave it there. Don't touch it. Don't move it. Don't shake the pan. Just leave it there. You're going to season the other side, and you're going to see a little bit of white move up. When it's about halfway, that's the indication of when you should turn it. It should take around four to five minutes. After that, you're going to turn your salmon around and cook on the other side for about 3 minutes. After that, flip it back on its skin side and you're going to take it off the heat and leave it to rest for about 3 more minutes. After that, you're going to cut your salmon into chunks and then you're going to add it in your soup, give it a quick stir and cook it on really low heat for about 3-5 to five more minutes. After that, you're finally done. You completed Yeto's famous soup. So add it to a bottle or a bowl or whatever you're going to eat it out of and there you go. You've got the superb soup from The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. <laughs> Now normally this is where I say in the video it's my favorite part, I get to taste what we just made, so let's dive right in. But I'm kind of scared, you know my feelings about fish, so I'm just going to be like Lincoln then, take a swig and wish me luck. Mmm. Oh man. Oh man. I'm oh, sorry for the slurping. I don't want to sound like a mama loop, but... Oh, that's good. That's good. Wow. It's better than the pumpkin soup recipe I did for the Skyward Sword pumpkin. I did cheddar with that, but goat cheese and that heavy cream 
kind of works better together with pumpkin. And then after a while you get that flavor of pumpkin, you get that little bit of hint of fishiness. But soup's supposed to be eaten with the spoon, so I'm not gonna drink the rest of it out of this glass. I'm gonna take everything. Let's see how we get with some of the carrots and some of the salmon. Oh, this is to die for. Guys, if you don't know what to make for Thanksgiving and you wanna surprise people, I think Yeto, you know, he had a, a pretty good idea of how to make some soup. He might be a Yeti, but uh, man, you gotta give it to him. This thing is pretty damn good. I'm I'm shocked, guys. I I absolutely love this. I love getting a little bit of the salmon. You have a little bit of that crispy skin. All these vegetables. Oh man, I am shocked. This is absolutely delightful, guys. I know I, I say this all the time, but this is definitely one you should definitely make. If you're not a fish fan, you should try this out because it's not so much fish. You would think that that fish stock would overpower it, but you get only a little bit of it. That pumpkin, that goat cheese, that heavy cream, the vegetables, it all ties well so well together. And that fish is just a little bit of meat that's so perfect for you. And the crispiness of the skin, it's, it's a masterpiece in a jar or a bowl or a pot, however you're gonna eat it. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Like I said in the past, when you watch my videos, money is made. That money is automatically donated to charity. I keep none of the funds I make for my videos. Everything is directly donated to charity. So please, guys, if you really want to help me out, share it on the socials, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, Reddit, whatever you use. It really, really helps me out in the future. And if, guys, you enjoyed this video, give it a like and a comment below. And if you didn't like it, give it a dislike and some constructive criticism so I know what to do to improve on my show. I said this in my last video. If you're new here and you don't know, all the money I'm raising so far until December is going to the people affected by the hurricane in Puerto Rico. I spent a lot of my childhood there and uh, it really devastated me that hurricane I know the people there living there it even devastated them even more so guys thank you so much for this previous year we raised money for the people of Houston we raised money for people of Alzheimer's and we also raised money for the people of Puerto Rico until December where I'm going back to Alzheimer's so guys uh, none of this would be possible without you if you want to follow me on my social medias just look up Ponapples that's pretty much everything from my Twitter from my Instagram from my snapchat so if you want to add me uh, on any of those just send an invite and uh, there you go for the next video we're gonna be doing Mario Odyssey the soup in the Lunching Kingdom and then after that we have some Pokemon videos uh, for Cuckoo's Kitchen and uh, a little bit of Breath of the Wild sprinkle in there so a lot of content until the end of the year thank you guys uh, like I said this is all possible because of you I really, really appreciate it uh, and as always stay sexy adios